four track tape versus eight track tape. As you can see here, I have a four track tape as well as an eight track tape. Now this is the form factor for a four track tape, but this is actually a cart that was used in radio stations. But the differences between the two formats was that uh, this one has a pin roller in it and this one did not have the pin roller. The pin roller was in the machine that played back the cartridge. So this particular cartridge, you just set it down on this little platform here and push it forward. And then you pull this lever up, which engages the pin roller to the capstan and turns on the motor and begins playback. This switch here changes it from program one to program two. So you can find four track cartridges online. I mean, you can find everything like the Beatles and and uh, music that came out in the 60s and early 70s on this format. And of course, 8-track took us all the way into the late 80s uh, because of uh, the Columbia House uh, Music Club. But uh, this particular player right here, I don't remember if I've actually had it on my channel before, but uh, this is a Muntz uh, stereo pack player, stereo 4-track player, and it has a real wood cabinet that I have refinished. I'll remove these cartridges here so you can see it. But uh, it's a real wood finish. It's not that simulated wood green stuff. It's real wood. And the people who I bought it from shipped it to me, didn't pack it well, and it arrived busted in four pieces. So I had to glue it back together, glue the seams back, smooth it down, and then uh, sand it down, and then refinish it. So I think it turned out pretty well. It looks pretty good for its age, uh, being a, a, an item that was made in the 60s. But uh, I say all of this to respond to a request that I got to have one of these Muzak cartridges opened up so you could see what it looks like inside. These four track cartridges were made in the late 90s. Can you believe that we were still making endless loop cartridges in the late 90s? And you say, well, how do you know that? Well, I know that for this one, it has a date written on the back of it of, eight, of 97. I have a second cartridge here that was made or dated May 1st of 98 and based on the tunes that are on it which you can see here these are all tunes with late 90s copyright dates on them pretty crazy so as to why we still needed these tapes in the late 90s I don't have a clue but uh, we were still making them so the Muzak service would that once you subscribe to it would send you one of these I guess on a monthly basis and you would put this in your machine and it would pipe music through the speakers of your store and people could be entertained by it. Looks like this particular one went to the Bed Bath and Body store. Uh, looks like store number nine there on the back. So I have actually reviewed these on my channel before so you can uh, look up the video that uh, I actually play you pieces of these and uh, get into it a little bit more extensively but uh, I had a viewer uh, a subscriber who wanted to see what one of these looked like on the inside and I said okay we'll take a look at that so what you can see here is four screws that I've removed there's two here and there's two up here I thought there was a screw here I had kind of punched that little hole in there but there's no screw behind it just just four screws and you lift up the lid and inside you have a gigantic spool of regular magnetic tape so you can see here it um, feeds through the center the uh, the core of the reel here feeds out goes across the tape heads comes back in and uh, that's quite a bit of tape and it does move at three and three quarters inches per second I know that because the tape will play on my music or uh, my months machine here so um, that's really the purpose of this video was to show one of my fans what these tapes look like on the inside there's the under side of the lid right there it's got some kind of a little is that a rubber piece right there yeah it's like a little foam piece there and um, it's just a strange thing that these things will actually play in a machine that was made in the 1960s and here you have a cartridge that was made in the late 90s so very interesting technology again uh, I'll go ahead and put a link to the original video that I made 
regarding this particular uh, tape cartridge and uh, show you the original month's tape player that I had and restored as well. It actually had a turntable built into it. So the, the tape player was on this side and then this particular outer edge here contained a turntable. So a pretty neat and very rare setup. Uh, it actually is a four track recorder, which is even more rare to find. Uh, four track players are hard enough to find, but then to find one that actually records is a pretty sweet deal. So thank you guys for watching this video. Thanks to the subscriber who suggested it. And please subscribe, share with a friend, and check out my Facebook page. You'll see that in the, sub the description below this video. And I'll see you guys next time.